OCO, Candace Bird Dawado. Hello, my name is Candace, and I am here to tell you the story of the race between the hummingbird and the crane. Sawiawa, they say that a long time ago, that there was this lovely Cherokee woman, and she had two suitors who came courting for her hand, the crane and the hummingbird. Both the crane and the hummingbird were very much in love with the young woman, but the young woman preferred the hummingbird over the crane. The hummingbird was handsome and had this colorful plumage and he was very, very fast. And the crane was tall and awkward and gangly, but the crane was also very persistent. And day after day, he kept asking the young woman to marry him. And she refused him time after time until she got so tired of him that she told the crane that he must challenge the hummingbird to a race to win her hand in marriage because she thought that the hummingbird is so quick and so fast that the hummingbird would surely beat the crane in a race. So the crane challenged the hummingbird to a race around the world. So the hummingbird and the crane were getting ready for their race and they took off and they started off and the hummingbird just flew so fast and he flew and he flew and he flew and he flew so far and so fast on that first day that he decided to take a break early and he decided to bed down for the night not knowing that cranes fly all night to travel to their destination. So while the hummingbird was asleep on that first night, the crane silently and swiftly passed him. When the hummingbird woke up the next day, he looked around confidently and he realized that the crane was nowhere near in sight. Thinking that he was so far ahead that he decided to take a more leisurely pace, the hummingbird flew just a little bit further but he was so surprised when he came upon the crane that morning, spearing tadpoles for his breakfast. So the hummingbird realized that he must have passed him in the night. So the hummingbird flew a little bit faster to gain that ground on that second day, but he had to stop just before midnight and bed down because he was tired from racing so fast. But the crane once again silently and swiftly passed him in the night. And on the third day when the hummingbird woke up, he flew very quickly. And he reached the crane in the afternoon and he realized that the crane had passed him again in the night. So the hummingbird thought he had lots of ground to make up. So he flew and pushed himself even farther and faster on that third day. And the hummingbird decided that he needed to pick up his pace and really get serious about this race. Day after day that happened. Up until the seventh day, when the hummingbird was so far behind, he was at least a good day behind the crane in his journey. And the crane won the race. So when the crane won the race, he was, very, he was very pleased with himself and he presented himself to the young woman. And the young woman looked between the crane and the hummingbird and decided if she couldn't have her first choice, if she couldn't marry the hummingbird, then it was best to not marry at all. And she decided to stay single. Wado. And thank you for listening to this month's Cherokee Storytelling. If you want more stories, please click this link.